Coach, it was a disappointing result. You played well, you created many chances, but unfortunately you didn't score. Tell us as a technician what went wrong, how was the game in general, the 90 minutes? Yeah, first, uh, first I'm very sad for the for the lot of spectators that came today to support us. I think uh, they would have deserved uh, a better result. Um, I think we did a good match. Uh, as you said, we, we created chances. The problem is that uh, we are not cool enough in front of the goal. Um, this is something hard to train. Um, we can only try, and I think everybody saw that we were trying from the first minute. We knew we have to win. Uh, normally also, <laughs> um, Libya had to win. Uh, I didn't really see uh, that they were trying. Uh, they were sitting back, what was also difficult for us then, and waiting then for a counter-attack. Um, that's happened once. And um, otherwise, I think they hadn't really uh, a lot of chances to score a goal. So uh, we had the chances and we, as I said, we are not cool enough in front of the goal. So if you don't score and the other team is uh, scoring one goal, then you are losing 1-0. And that's, uh, that's the fact we have to live with. Um, I, I can't really blame the team for any other things, uh, so uh, it's a it's a bad day. Uh, days like that happen in football. Unfortunately, uh, not always the team that may deserve to win uh, is getting the three points. But okay, I think uh, that's what I told my boys. Sure, they were very sad now in the dressing room. I said uh, a good team is showing. Uh, also, the situation, how to handle a bad day like today. We have to, to stand up. And uh, now we have another very difficult match in front of us. Uh, that we are for sure not giving up. Uh, anyhow, the, the going to the AFCON is, uh, is now very difficult, maybe unimpossible or impossible, so um, then we just try to make a good match against Nigeria again and um, then we have to look for the future what will happen. Okay. Whoever <coughs> has a question, he or she can go ahead. It seems everybody is sad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, coach. Uh, a very tough game, as you said. Uh, we've been uh, playing using our wingers, uh, or our fronts, many crosses, many corners, uh, but we didn't uh, deliver or didn't get a goal from those uh, uh, approach. Mm. Uh, I want to know, uh, didn't you think that maybe we should use another way of creating chances using our uh, playmakers or uh, central midfielders, so that we can try to shoot, like uh, to build as they scored uh, their goal. Why is it uh, that we try to, uh, to 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 cross over each and every time we try to to look for a goal? Or you don't have the quality in the midfield of those players. Um, okay, there are different ways uh, how you come close to the goal, huh? and uh, normally. You, uh, especially if teams are sitting back and waiting, uh, the best way is to go through the flanks. Uh, and uh, okay, now they, sh that's what we are also doing in the training. You can try to cross the ball in the box. Then uh, we are normally trying to get also the players in the box because if you have only one player in the box, it's difficult. So we normally have at least three players in the box when the cross ball is coming. 
so we are prepared. Now the, the question is the finishing. Uh, we also are doing training for situations that we are dribbling in the box and then we also have plans. Now we are talking about tactics, uh, how the player should move, how you should, where you should play the ball. But in the end, we also had chances by, by shooting. Uh, in the end, you have to, to get the ball in, in the net. So, uh, and uh, our players, they, they shoot it close to the goal, but not into the goal. Uh, and as I said, if you, if you don't get the ball in the net, then uh, it's not a goal. Uh, I think uh, we tried di in different ways. Um, I would have liked, I don't know, sometimes uh, we are doing corner balls in the training uh, especially, and uh, today uh, the players, I, I told them the goalkeeper is tall, but it's, he's not moving from the, from the goal line. So get the ball between the penalty point and the, the six yard box. Huh? Okay, we are doing it in the training. It's more or less working in the training. It's not working in the match. Um, I can't shoot the corner balls by myself, uh, and I can't do the header by myself. Um, we we had chances. Uh, also, the goalkeeper was uh, just uh, shortly for, before the end was getting doing a very good save to get the ball out. Um, I I can't really tell you uh, what what to do now better, you have, sometimes these, these balls are going in. Uh, and uh, in this match, we had enough situations where we could, we could score or we had to score, and yeah, we did not, unfortunately. Uh, Lorenzo, then. Coach, uh, we've recently heard from the FA about your contract extension, uh, the negotiations are down the road. Let's say things go south and we don't qualify in the end. Do you think the talks will be just hung in the air? Do you think you can just keep up? Do you think you will finally quit? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not quitting. Uh, my my contract is ending, and this is a normal situation. And uh, the uh, the federation is thinking about the future, and I am thinking about the future. For me, the future is quite clear. Um, so uh, the situation is is as it is, and uh, uh, there is still some time. Um, but sure, a result like that uh, is, is disappointing everybody. Uh, it's also disappointing me and uh, I think uh, um, it's not now the right moment to, to think about if I stay or if I go. Uh, I think you and we have seen a team that is, that is uh, improving and uh, is playing good football. Uh, it is not scoring. Uh, uh, all our all our matches, even when we are winning, we are only winning by one goal, and and you you have to wait until the end and hope that that nothing happens like today. Uh, today it happened, and uh, yeah, then then it's it's just a, a bad day for everybody, and uh, I don't think we should talk about my contract now. Mr. Coach, yeah. it's, look, it's looking like it's over uh, for Amavoy to qualify for uh, in Afcon 2025. Mm. For you, as coach, uh, do you see uh, it is still possible uh, for Amavoy to qualify? And what do you think you are going to do so as to get the win in Nigeria? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. As long as there is a chance to qualify, we will do everything for it. So, uh, for sure. Uh, we have to win in Nigeria, and that's what we are we are trying. Uh, um, the chance to win in China, Nigeria is is not very very high, but uh, there's always a chance, and uh, and that's what I tell my players. And even if the results, I don't know the other results now today, the results are that that the match will not count for anything. Then then it is 
still something. It's a big match to play against uh, some of the best players in the world. So uh, this is I, what I will tell my players. You, when you are grandfather, you will talk about this match. Uh, and it doesn't really matter then if you are qualifying for FCON or not. But to, to try your best and uh, to show good football. And OK, we showed it in the last match against Nigeria um, that we can do a good match against them. It's always the question then, are you scoring or are you not scoring? Uh, and um, that's, that's, uh, we have to wait. Uh, but for sure, we will not go there even if, if uh, uh, you, you can't qualify uh, anymore about the results. I don't, as I said, I don't know of today. Uh, we will try to play good football. And uh, there, are, there are bad days, days like today. Uh, and maybe we have a, a very nice day in uh, four days or five days. Mr. Dekush, yeah. uh, first of all, sorry for the rust, the rust of today. But it seems that it's very hard to give us a word today. It, it's not easy to say something because of this disappointment. So mm, my question is, what do you think about your future? Your project here in Rwanda is, is running, how, how it is running? How do you shape your progress? Uh, do you think you have something to do on Rwandan football or you have to hand over with other coach to continue for your project? You see, uh, nowadays, uh, 12 months I'm here now, and uh, there was a, a lot of difficulties. Uh, you don't know uh, from the beginning until the last days. Uh, it was never easy. Uh, uh, the situation is not getting easier for me because of the rules of the Federation. Uh, if I'm going to the stadium and watch the players, I don't see them because they are sitting on the bench because of 12 foreign players. So there are a lot of things that are, are really disappointing me. And they are not helping me to, yeah, in my work. Uh, so uh, um, I, will, I will carefully think about whatever. And uh, OK, if I, if I uh, should not continue first it's a question of the of the federation uh, um, uh, then it's my my decision uh, but I think uh, the team has improved and every coach that is coming after me will have a, a team he can work with and he can try to make the next step uh, I hope you you will get a good coach who can uh, make them score. Uh, uh, all the other things are quite well working. So uh, that's it. You are thinking of quitting? Uh, I'm not quitting. My contract is finishing. I already said my boots are done. Uh, so, and I don't buy new ones. That's okay. it. Thank you, Mr. Ford. Thank yeah. you, everyone here. Uh, Coach, it is uh, a sad and a bad day for the whole country, I think. And uh, thank you for being here. And uh, good luck for the next match.